Hey YouTube, this is Everything Epan here, and today I'm going to do a video tutorial on how to install Ubuntu version 16.04 in VirtualBox or VMware. This is the latest version out currently as of September 2nd, 2016, the day of this video, and um, it's the latest version out. My apologies for the background noise. I'll let that. Uh, Somebody's uh, mowing. Um, so that's the latest version that is out right now. And um, so I did a video tutorial on how to install, I believe it was 1504 last year. So I am going to do an updated tutorial and do version 1604. Um, there's like 1510 out and all that good stuff. So let's get started. Um, of course, I forgot to hide that. Um, what you're going to need to do is create a new machine and call it Ubuntu or Ubuntu 16.04 or whatever. Leave it at 64 bit. If you have a 32 bit version selected accordingly, then hit next. And then I'm going to bump up my RAM to uh, two, kit, bleh, 2 gigs. And then hit next. I'm going to create the 8 gig virtual hard drive. Then I'm going to hit settings, storage, hit the empty disk and choose the uh, ISO which is right here and then go ahead and start and then it's going to load up and there'll be a delect delect direct link in the description to get uh, the latest version of Ubuntu um, that will be in the description that's going to be a direct link to the Ubuntu website um, and there will be links for VirtualBox and VMware as usual um, won't need a WinRAR rank link this time so you'll see it and if that error comes up just don't worry about it it'll move on and it should load up into Ubuntu. So you actually can run Ubuntu without having to install it. Which is kind of nice. That way you don't have to actually put it on a hard drive or a virtual hard drive or something. So, what you have two options here. You can either try Ubuntu or install it. And make sure your language is selected accordingly. I'm going to put this in full screen. If you want to try Ubuntu, go ahead and click this right here. If you want to install it, click here. First, I'll just do the try Ubuntu because of the, I think there's like an icon on here that you can click to install it. So, uh, if you hit try Ubuntu, um, and if that error comes up, just uh, let it go, and it'll load up the uh, Ubuntu operating system. And um, sometimes it takes a little bit, but one thing I like about Ubuntu is that it's completely free. So um, like there's things you can do like you can put it on like say there's a computer called the Raspberry Pi that I've heard of that you can put Linux on and it runs really well on so kind of nice there so here we go we have the uh, little keyboard sh shortcuts uh, button up here um, I don't know what the super button is but um, key is or whatever it is I don't know if you can close it or not but um, you got all these icons on the left it's kind of similar to what the uh, can't, I don't know why I can't close it, but uh, it's kind of similar to um, like a Mac dock or whatever. And you can uh, open the programs accordingly. You got install Ubuntu and all that good stuff. So um, then you got your system settings over here. So um, Ubuntu, I'd say, is probably one of my favorite Linux operating systems. Um, Linux Mint's up there as well. So this is how to run the live version. Now, if you want to install it on a virtual hard drive or maybe even an actual computer, I could show you how to do that in a future video. Go ahead and double click install Ubuntu. And uh, you'll see on the left it's going to load up the uh, setup. Because you can see the uh, light flashing over there. And that'll come up with the install window. Make sure you select your correct language and hit continue. And then um, you can do either install third-party software and download updates. Um, so you can do that now, or you can wait till later to do that. Um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and do that and um, we're gonna go ahead and install third-party software and hit continue and then this is the part where it would uh, format the drive or um, so you can like erase the disk and install Ubuntu um, you can encrypt Ubuntu installation um, you can use uh, logical volume management um, or if you click something else and hit continue you can do what's called a dual boot like say you're installing it on an actual computer and you want to dual boot it with like Windows 7 or Windows 10 or Windows 8 you can do this from in here by creating partitions and everything and that's actually not a bad idea because it uh, creates its own bootloader that way you don't have to fish around with that and it'll do that all the way but uh, since I'm not going to be doing that I'll just hit back and hit erase disk and install Ubuntu and hit install now and then when this comes up just hit uh, continue it's just confirming where you are uh, installing it then it'll ask for your time zone just hit continue when you uh, select the correct one or whatever one you want doesn't really matter but uh, then you want to select your keyboard layout accordingly and then you can uh, test it out here on the, on the bottom and then you can hit continue and then it's going to ask for your username I'll just type in everything epan and then we'll do um, looks like you do have to have a password so And uh, we'll just do require my password to log in. Hit continue. And now it's going to uh, copy the files over and everything. And uh, so this could take some time. So we'll just let this sit for a while. And I will see you guys in a bit once it's uh, finished installing. Okay, so once it's done, it'll say an installation has finished. You can continue testing Ubuntu now. But until you restart your computer, any changes of documents you make uh, will not save. So. Once it's complete, you can go ahead and restart. You can even continue testing if you want, but I don't want to restart to uh, set it up or finish setting it up. Um, you could probably remove, yeah, you can remove the ISO. Oh, maybe it's easy. Let's just hit cancel. We'll wait until it actually loads up until we want to remove it. So it'll kind of just load here for a minute. Okay, so it eventually will tell you to remove the uh, installation disk. So do that and then hit enter. And then it will reboot the uh, virtual machine. And you see that I do have it removed. And if this comes up, I'm trying to get the... Uh, Thing. If that comes up, just hit enter. I don't think the mouse will work when it comes in there. So, and then it will just uh, keep loading. Okay, so I actually had to restart the uh, virtual machine again um, and remove the ISO another time because I guess it wasn't actually removed, but that's okay. Um, so now it'll come up with the user login. So we'll just go ahead and Log in with the password that I have for my user. And then it should log you in. I don't know if there's a log on sound or not. We'll see. If it even does it or not. Uh, no, I guess it does not. So there you go. That is uh, the log on, and that is Ubuntu 16.04. So there you go. That's how to install Ubuntu version 16.04 in VirtualBox or VMware. Thank you guys for watching. Um, definitely some more videos coming, obviously, in the future. Um, uh, leave your suggestions uh, down below. I really need some suggestions. Also, forgot to mention, thank you guys so much for 2,000 subscribers. We finally hit the mark. Um, so it's insane. 
that we're that far we're um, close to a quarter um, how would you say this we're close to a quarter of 10,000 subscribers which is uh, 2,500 subscribers so we're almost a quarter of the way to 10,000 already which is insane and then uh, um, we'll be hitting another milestone mark so um, so leave a like on the video if you uh, enjoyed or if it helped you out share the video so that others can see it and help them up as well um, comment your ideas down below and don't forget to subscribe once again thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video